So the idea of this exercise is to do 13 different scales starting on one note. We don't go beyond an octave, everything within an octave. So the goal of these uh, studies, which I'm about to present, uh, is to develop your ear and your fingers at the same time so that you're simultaneously practicing both ear training and guitar technique. Um, I think a lot of people practicing technique sort of think of it as, oh, this is a drudgery, I've got to practice technique, how boring. But in fact, what I'm trying to do with these exercises is just sort of to give a basic model and then to invite everybody to be creative with the model. So what I'm about to demonstrate are 13 scales, uh, starting off from one note. And the idea is ultimately to do these scales in all keys. The other idea uh, of this exercise is to use consecutive strings. So I'll trace uh, within one octave um, various ways of dividing that octave up into different scales. So here goes. So we're going to start off with the simplest scale of all that we all know, the major scale. It's called the major scale. If you start on the white keys of the piano and you just go up step by step, you have, starting on C, this scale, ascending or descending, the major scale, everybody knows it. Now we also have uh, various other possible ways of dividing up the octave, so I just went through one octave up and one octave down. Now, if we go back to the very famous seven church modes, starting on the white keys of the piano, starting on the C, we would have the Ionian, that's the same as the major scale. The next thing on the next note up is D, so that'd be Dorian. Then the next note up is E, that's the Phrygian scale. The next note up is F, that gives you the Lydian scale. The next note up is G, that gives you the Mixolydian. The next note up is A, that gives you Aeolian. Finally, you get to the end of the white keys and you hit B, and, and you go up on the white keys of the piano and you get Locrian. So those are the so-called seven church modes. So we're going to start with those, but not in that order, because I think that order can be a little confusing and hard to remember. So if you'll notice, of, of the seven church modes, three of them have major third at the beginning. Three of them start in this way. The three that start in this way are the major scale. Then there's another one that has the major third. raises also the fourth degree. So one, two, three, four. So in fingering this with the left hand, we could simplify the left hand fingering by imagining two, four, and then twice one, three, four. One, three, four. One, three, four. So if I'm practicing this scale, I do not want to complicate the process. I want the process to be as simple as possible for my brain. So I'll think two, four. And now I'll think twice, one, three, four. And the same coming, coming down. So I have two, four. And now twice, one, three, four. One, three, four, one, three, four. Coming back, four, three, four, four, three, one, four, two, four, two. So what this means is that my brain gets vacation because I just think two, four. Now I think one, three, four, one, three, four, which you could compare to if you're memorizing a phone number, you know the area code. Let's say for Boston, we have 617. A lot of people have 617 area code. So if somebody tells me their phone number here in Boston, I don't think 617, because that slows my brain down. I think, oh, Boston area code, bang, done. So the same thing here, we think 241344. So, so far we've done the major scale. And now the, the first new scale, we did, took the Lydian scale. Just like if I 
or memorizing fingering for the area code of a phone number. I'll memorize one, three, four, one, three, four, twice, and a one, three. So I only think once there, and then I think here. So now we have got the first of the church modes with the minor third in it. Now let's take another one with the minor third in it. Our favorite one as guitarists, the Phrygian mode. So we'll flat the second degree. One, two. So in this case it would be a D flat. Now let's take another one with the minor third. Let's take the Locrian, which is two times uh, one, two, four. Flatting the fifth as well as the second. So one, two, three, four, five. Right, so we have a G flat. Now let's take, once again, just as a point of reference, let's return to our very easy natural minor. And now let's raise the sixth, which will give us the Dorian scale. Now some people point out that it's possible you can use various fingerings. I like one, three, four, one, three, four, because it's hard to play, and we hear and feel in the choreography of the fingers. We hear and feel the raise to the sixth degree. Let's go back to our natural minor once again just to orient ourselves. And let's raise the seventh degree of the scale. And we have a harmonic minor. Now let's do melodic minor, which raises the sixth and the seventh, and then comes back natural. Right? So now we have done nine scales already. The seven church modes, the three with the major third, the four with the minor third, and two minor scales. The harmonic minor is typical augmented seven. 